Can your business run without you? Imagine your empire not just surviving, but flourishing in your absence. If I was to leave my seven million pound a year property business today, Alhamdulillah, it would still continue to grow. I'm actually not operationally involved in it at all. In this video, I'm going to reveal a Muslim business secret that can transform your approach to entrepreneurship. It's about creating a business that will outlive you, a business that can run and grow without you. Stick around until the end for practical steps that you can start implementing right after this video to make your business self-sufficient. The secret I'm referring to here is preparing for death. The Prophet ﷺ was asked by his Sahaba, which of the believers is the wisest? His response Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was those who remember death often and prepare for it with good deeds. Such are the wisest. Muslim entrepreneurs are very conscious of this and as such they build their lives and businesses accordingly. This life is temporary and death is the start of the next one which will eventually lead us to eternal bliss inshallah. But why is this a Muslim business secret? Firstly, it pushes us to structure the business so that it eventually operates without us. It also ensures that we have a strong business continuation plan. If my time is up tomorrow, I have put the necessary arrangements in place for everything to continue running smoothly. Secondly, preparing for death encourages us to maintain and build strong relationships. We resolve any conflicts, we avoid unnecessary altercations, which will result in us having better focus, more energy and higher productivity. Lastly, preparing for death also means writing everything down. For example, agreements, contracts, passwords, debts, instructions. It will help the business continue operating smoothly even when you're gone. There's a common misconception that preparing for death prevents us from being ambitious. Why would you want to build an empire if you could die tomorrow? The answer to this wrong mindset was given in a beautiful hadith where the Prophet Wasallam taught us that if we have a seed in our hand and we suddenly find out that the day of judgment has begun, we should still plant that seed. As Muslims, we get rewarded for our intentions and our efforts, not for the outcome. As entrepreneurs, whether we die today or tomorrow, the only thing that really matters is our intention and our effort behind building the business. Therefore, let us make intentions which are astronomically ambitious. Because if we are sincere, and if we put in the effort within our capacity, we will surely get rewarded in full whether we achieve that vision in our lifetime or not. Now let me share a compelling real life case study that demonstrates the unpredictability of the entrepreneurial journey and emphasizes the importance of this mindset. Let's take lesson from the award-winning entrepreneur Tian Tian Kulanda, the co-founder of a digital asset company called Amber Group. He was so talented that he earned a spot on Forbes 30 under 30 list and his startup reached a staggering $3 billion valuation within a few years. He tragically died in his sleep at the tender age of 30. This is a lesson and reminder for all entrepreneurs that life is unpredictable. But because he structured his business pretty well and he built his business the right way, it was able to survive and thrive despite his passing. Imagine if Tian Tian hadn't built a strong team or hadn't installed his vision and his values in them. Many entrepreneurs make the mistake of being the sole center of the business, leading to its demise upon their death. 
Tian Tian story teaches us that preparing for death is indeed a powerful Muslim business secret. Now, before I give you the practical steps of how you can implement this Muslim business secret, I want to share with you a story where I learned an important business lesson. In 2019, something life-changing happened. I was working very closely with an amazing mentor, Nabil Al-Azami, and we were teaching and training Muslim leaders and Muslim organizations on prophetic leadership. We were traveling the world and slowly gaining momentum on our mission to teach leaders on how to be successful based on the Sira, also backed by the latest modern research. He actually left a very senior role in a global charity to pursue this mission. We were both working very hard, only taking a day off every couple of weeks. Alhamdulillah, the consulting business was growing slowly, but at a steady rate. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, he was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. It became very aggressive and his condition deteriorated rapidly. Qadar Allah wa ma sha fa'al, he passed away seven months later. The business and the mission unfortunately died with him. The business was not designed to run without him. Alhamdulillah, he did leave behind an incredible legacy and a lot of people who will remember him and have benefited from him. He even left behind a book, but it was heartbreaking to see the business slowly fade into dust. And that is when I learned the importance of preparing for death and structuring your business accordingly. As promised, here are three practical steps that you can start implementing right after this video to make your business self-sufficient, inshallah. Number one, make sure that someone in your team or in your family has access to important information such as bank accounts, emails, contact lists, passwords, any list of any debts. Number two, fire yourself from your current role. Whether you're the main person delivering the service or you're the one doing all of the marketing, figure out how you can replace yourself as soon as possible. Not only will this be fantastic for business continuity, but it will also free you up to do the highest value stuff in your business. Number three, Assume you only have 30 days left on this earth. What arrangements would you make to keep everything running smoothly? Who would you need to hire? Who would you need to train? What SOPs would you need to create? Do this exercise every quarter and watch your business transform. Let me know in the comments below if you have any practical advice on how to implement this powerful Muslim business secret, inshallah. If you found value in this video, be sure to click here to discover the incredible gift bestowed upon us when faced with uncertain, difficult decisions. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh.